So this question comes from Abhishek J. Can you please suggest to me which laptop is best for CEH? So, uh, so an eth ethical hacking course. What configurations are really needed for the course? And my budget is around $800. And one more thing, can you please tell me what type of language software are known that really need for the CEH course? Please reply urgently. Well, here is, here is one thing, just so you guys know, if you send me questions, never, don't worry about saying please reply urgently because sometimes, yeah, urgently is something I am beholder. So I was looking at this question today and I was like, ooh, that's a good question. And then I look at the date sent and it's October 6th, 2014. <laughs> so it's only slightly over a year old, this question, but oh well, as I say with you guys, all, all the questions you send me go into a whole one of these email folders and then I get to them as I get to them. But this is an interesting question right here. So the question comes up, especially for the hacking world. I want to become a certified ethical hacker. What kind of computer should I get, especially if I have a budget, right? Now the important thing to understand is whenever you go out to buy any type of equipment, uh, whether it's a laptop computer for hacking, whether it's a switch, whether it's a wireless access point, whatever it is, you need to think about what are you actually trying to accomplish. Um, because the issue is, is computers or systems that are really good for doing one task uh, may not be so good for another. Again, I have a MacBook Pro. I love my MacBook Pro. It's a two-year-old MacBook Pro. It has a PCI Express solid state drive. It's sitting right here. That's why I keep waving down at it, right? Oh, look at how pretty it is. And it is just a beast, right? 4K video editing, absolutely amazing. Uh, surfing the web, doing all the research, doing all the work that I need to do, absolutely amazing. I could not buy a better computer, worth every dime I spent on it. Anybody who wants to give me crap about owning a Mac for what I do, I literally don't care because if you're giving me crap about owning a Mac as a video editor, you literally just, you, you don't even know enough to be able to make those snarky comments. You can't, you can't compare this thing to any of the Windows pieces of garbage that are on the market. I know people with computers, Windows computers that are two and three and four times the cost of this beast. And I, I wouldn't trade at all just because this does exactly what it needs to do. But, right, I love the Mac for that. But if I was gonna do hacking, I wouldn't buy it. MacBook Pro, right? Um, it's not what it's, it's built for, right? If I need to do uh, Active Directory, if I need to be in the enterprise world, I, I needed to deal, you know, if I had, if I had a thousand users with a thousand computers and I needed to be able to control them and do all the administration tests, I would not use a MacBook Pro. That would just be ridiculous. Why? Because Windows is what's best uh, for that kind of enterprise world, at least now. So you're talking to me about, uh, you're going to go into certified ethical hacking. What I would do is I would think about uh, what are the kind of applications, what are the kind of software, what are the kinds of scripts you're going to be running as, as an ethical hacker. And the reality is most of the hacking scripts that you're going to run don't require a lot of resources, right? If you're editing uh, 4K video, that requires a lot of CPU, that requires a lot of RAM, and it, it, it requires a hell of a lot of I.O. input output performance uh, on your hard drive. Uh, if you're doing hacking, though, what are you doing? You're running Python scripts, you're running Ruby scripts, you're running all these other scripts. I mean, basically what you're doing is you're interpreting text. You're, you're going out on the network. Um, a lot, most hacking stuff, unless you're doing some massive-ass botnet thing, which is its own thing, um, doesn't actually require that many resources. It's just, you, it's not CPU intensive, generally. It's not RAM intensive, generally. And, and Nobody should use a 5400 RPM hard drive, but you don't really need, you don't even really need a solid state drive, right? Uh, basically, you install Kali uh, or whatever Linux distribution you want to, on uh, whatever laptop you have, and you go hacking. So I had $800, and I really wanted to do hacking. Again, I didn't want to do other things. I just basically wanted to do hacking. Honestly, I would probably take that $800, and I would probably buy eight um, used, adequate quality uh, laptops instead, right? Because if I'm gonna be doing hacking, I mean, one of the things you have to be thinking about doing hacking is, is using computers from remote locations, using multiple computers to do weird kinds of things. Um, again, if you're gonna be learning how hacking works, learning how to create uh, and control botnets. So, right, if I'm learning how to create and control and deal with botnets, do I want one super powerful computer or do I want eight 
individual low power computers, but ones that I can use to try to infect with bots and then be able to try to manage them. I would argue if I was going to be testing out with hacking or certified hacking or security or any of that kind of stuff, I would want a, a like I say, more lower power computers versus one high power, powerful computer. That would be my thing. Because then you can do things like you can create labs. So you can create a lab again with those eight computers. You can set up uh, specific security configurations, and then you can try to compromise those configurations. Um, especially if you're looking at $800, right? Now here's the thing that some of you guys would be like, Eli, well, what about virtualization? Virtualization, you know, Eli is so fucking stupid. It's 2015, and he's not talking about even virtualization. This is how stupid Eli is. No, it's this person's budget, right? What kind of, well, especially with a laptop, but what kind of system are they gonna buy for $800? I mean, yeah, you could run VirtualBox, or if you had Server 2012 on it, you know, some kind of a Hyper-V or something, but you're not, I would not want to run very many instances of anything on an $800 laptop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying it won't function. It'll work. Work. Quotation marks. Double quotation mark. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, running multiple instances of different operating systems and then dealing with the networking and all that kind of stuff. On an $800 laptop, I don't think that's going to be pretty. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong. If you have like $5,000 to build like an Uber server to create your own virtualized, um, you know, little hacking lab, fine. I could see that. But $800? <laughs> no. Uh, so that would be my argument. So, and that's a big thing, again, for all of you guys, is that's what I want you to think about is don't think about the biggest, the most powerful, right? Think about what works in this particular instance. A Raspberry Pi uh, computer, one of those little $25 things, works amazingly well if it's going to be running something like a digital display advertising, right? So if you're gonna be installing digital advertising displays um, that, that basically are, are like, basically signs, you know, rotating signs, um, then, then a Raspberry Pi is awesome. That is literally the best product for the job. If you're going to be trying to edit 4K video, you want a MacBook Pro or a Mac. Uh, if you're gonna be working in the enterprise world where you need to be able to manage and be able to control thousands of computers, you want Active Directory, which means you want Windows. So that's what I want you guys to be thinking about is again, what what is required for what problem you're trying to solve. Sometimes it's Raspberry Pi, sometimes it's MacBook Pro, sometimes it's one very powerful server, other times it's a lot of less expensive smaller servers. So uh, so that's what I would say. Like I said, if I, I, if I was going to be playing around with hacking and all that kind of stuff, I would far prefer multiple, uh, multiple computers um, over one big one. Um, but again, you gotta get crappy computers, so you kinda gotta gotta weigh everything out there. But that would be my that would be my thing.